This is called Poison, his fantasy. I walked up to the bar, ordered my second whiskey, noticed she was drinking rum. She was temptation embodied with a cinnamon scent, beautiful white teeth and huntress hips that transformed men into moths. I sipped my honey-colored liquor, glancing into her brown eyes. My blues lingered with the gentleness of a hummingbird seeking forbidden nectar. I'm poisoned to men, she volunteered, with the confidence of a seasoned predator. I'm immune to poison, I smiled. <laughs> Let me taste your tears. <laughs> What tears? She responded through puzzled lips. The tears you will shed if you don't wake up with me at sunrise. The tears you will shed if you don't taste my buttermilk biscuits which I would bake for you from scratch. The tears you will shed when you realize your abandonment issues are self-inflicted. <laughs> Intrigue and large and enormous brown eyes that were suddenly sparkling as if filled with a burst of carbonation. She said in a hushed breath, you're a very dangerous man. <laughs> My hand reached around the back of her head, dissolving into her long black hair, which compelled me to think of Rapunzel. Her hair was thicker and darker than an old growth forest on a moonless night. I pulled her close for a long kiss, saying, You have no idea how right you are. The bar felt silence. Our lips parted without retreat. Do you want honey with your biscuits, I asked. Yes. <laughs> what was that? What number do you work at? All of them. <laughs>